everyone, it's Miss Ashman here from Dudley Performing Arts. I thought I would do a video that gets you creative and making you think about some instruments that you can make at home. We're doing a lot of percussion at the moment and we might not have any percussion instruments at home. So we're going to have a go at making our own instruments. So I'm going to start off by just looking at some of the instruments you could pick. So I am a very big fan of my wooden utensils. Quite often we have a couple of wooden spoons in our drawers and these tap together quite nicely. Okay, you might not have these, so let's think of something else. So I've got here a plastic folder. Quite often we have a folder that we might put music in or we might put our homework in or anything like that. So I'm going to use this maybe as a drum pad and I could put this on the table. I'm tapping there with my wooden spoon. I could get a pen. I'm going to put it down on the table. I get a different sound if it's on a surface as well. So you might practice and you might change your different sounds. Okay, now I'd like to make something, if that's okay with you. So I have got myself an old crisp tube. Any supermarket you go to, you can get crisps in a tube. They have a plastic top, which is almost like the top of a drum, and a metal one at the other end. So you can actually do different types of sounds in different parts of your instrument that you're going to make. So, so I have got my crisps here. Okay, I'm going to pop them down here. You can just about see that on shot. Okay, so I've got myself some pasta. Okay, now you could use anything. You might have some beads at home if you're crafty. So you might go, you know, I'm going to use my drum as my bead storage. Okay, and then you can still take them out as you need them. You might have some rice. You might have some pasta. You might be able to go in the garden and get like dried flowers at the moment. There's lots of things that would make some kind of sound inside. But I chose pasta because I have quite a lot of pasta in it. So I'm going to put a little bit. I don't have a So I'll probably put in, let me measure some out here. I'll probably put in about a handful. So it's probably about mm, 15, 20 pieces of pasta there. You don't have to put that many in. Okay, because as soon as I've put some pasta in, I've made something else that I can now shape. I might get my pen and tap the top. I might get my pen and my metal bottom. I've given myself about four different sounds in my one instrument that I have made. So, get creative. You might think of other things that you can make. I just had this lying around and I had plenty of pasta in the cupboard. So that was what I decided to do. So let's get creating ourselves an instrument because we'll be doing lots of percussion and we can use our newly created instruments to play along. Okay, take care. See you soon. Bye.